Today we're going to talk about something that everyone loves. We're talking about taxes. Taxes. Cryptocurrency and taxes, it's a new area. Um, not a lot of accountants know about it. Even accountants who have had a lot of experience and might be very good at what they do, if they are not cryptocurrency experts, then they may not be able to advise you as well as others who are. So I spent some time trying to figure out, uh, talking to several different accountants. Best thing to do is to set up an entity. To, if you do that, you can take more of your costs, your expenses, whereas if as an individual, you can't take all of your expenses. Um, there's some that don't qualify. I don't quite get it. Again, I'm not an accountant. I don't like accounting. I don't like taxes. Ah, um, just hate it. Gross. But uh, anyway, but that's, that's the advice that you got from the that was my accountants that you talked to. That from, was from one that I spoke to at length today. One thing to consider with the plan the way that we're doing trades with the, the grid bots. The plan, real quick, is just something that Mike got into to help him out with Bitscap. Got another video on Bitscap and talking about that more. If you want to check it out, go check it out. The, the main idea behind the plan is that you are doing multiple transactions, lots of small little transactions where you buy and sell on, on the cryptocurrency pair that you have. And so the problem with that is from a tax perspective is that it's very difficult to account for. You have to track every single transaction. We're talking about doing a thousand transactions a day and that can add up quickly. That's and looking, a lot of transactions. A lot of transactions. And so you have to, there's different, you can either account for it first in, first out is one way. There's a lot of different ways to do that. Um, and there's a service that I found. It's actually cointracking.info. You can connect your exchanges to them and they will keep track of that for you and provide a report. But even that report, you really have to have an accountant to be able to create the right report to be able to use it to the best in the best way to, to minimize your tax liability. And, and the other challenge you run into is with different exchanges, the way cryptocurrency works right now, if you transfer Bitcoin or any kind of cryptocurrency from one exchange to the other, then you lose the continuity of that transaction. You know, you don't have your basis as it's called in, in uh, the taxing. You have to know what was your basis. What did you spend on the first purchase of that asset? And then you sold it in a different exchange. Then you don't know what your basis was if it was in the other exchange because it doesn't have a, you know, continuity there. So also kind of up in the air, all the government regulations on it, right? You never yes. know if all these things that you're talking about gets changed in an instant. And so you have to kind of be aware of that and come to grips with that and deal with that. That's just kind of the world of cryptocurrency right now. So and you found yourself wanting to make sure you have an accountant or a spe spe specific accountant or specific tax advisor for <clears throat> cryptocurrency. Otherwise, you have... Yeah, it's important. No don't don't skimp do. on this. If you're going to get into cryptocurrency now, that's if you're going to do it the way that the plan teaches us to do it. Um, and doing multiple transactions a day. The other way to do it, which is a lot easier as an individual investor, is you just find a cryptocurrency you like, you buy it, and you hold it, and you wait. And, and you want to wait at least a year um, because then you have a, what's called a long-term capital gain instead of a short-term, and that gets taxed less. Uh -huh. The long-term one that's after a year, if you've held the asset for more than a year, um, then is a short one. short one, you would have a higher tax liability all about those less taxes brother so but there's no way to avoid that with the plan approach because you've got a lot of short-term transactions that right. are happening there you, you don't want to skimp on this you want to find a good uh tax advisor good accountant that is familiar with cryptocurrency preferably that is familiar with this grid bot trading method of doing it which i have found not too many are actually none so far that i've talked to the one that i spoke with was just becoming aware of it and had a few other people reach out, probably other members of the plan, I would imagine, who said like, yeah, I'm, I'm getting a trend. I've had a few other inquiries about this and so starting to get familiar with it. If you're interested in other cryptocurrency videos, go check them out. We'll see you over there.